This week we are discussing chapters 13 through 19 of the Let's Explore Diabetes with Alice by David Sedaris. I got the freaking title right. I'm so proud of myself. I guess I could start out by saying I thought that author, author was a really nice chapter. I feel like this is the David Sedaris that I am more used to reading, or at least that I remember reading in the past. And I just really like these short slice of life stories with quirky humor, but that are still really thoughtful. And I'm not saying that the essays with the heavier subject matters are bad. I mentioned last week that I think it's good to be presented with the difficult themes because they help us think, but it's also nice to have just a short, carefree, humorous essay every once in a while. The chapter Understanding Understanding Owls really spoke to me, and not just because I have a fascination with morbid things, I follow the dead squirrel tag on Tumblr, but I appreciated how a story that could have simply been about this weird trip to the taxidermist turned out to be this thoughtful analysis of why do we like the things we like in life and who in our lives knows that about us. Now I do want to say one thing that I've noticed about this particular Sedaris collection is that more essays than in previous collections seem to be focused on more recent events or more on politics. And there are definitely the stories about growing up in childhood, but a lot of the essays have political undertones, if not political overtones as well. And I think that I am sort of having a personal struggle with that because if you know me, you know that I am not really the sort of person to discuss politics with. If you can find any video I've ever made where I've exclusively talked about politics, I will send you a freaking valentine in the mail. And actually I wrote down that David Sedera summed up my feelings on politics um, really well on page 165. What's the likelihood of changing anyone's opinion, especially a couple of strangers? If my own little mind is nailed shut, why wouldn't theirs be? It's totally awesome if politics is your thing and you love talking about it, but I definitely don't think that every single person needs to talk about every single subject that pops into their head and politics is not one of those things I've ever felt I need to talk about. In fact, I feel like the world would be a lot better place if everyone did not talk about every single subject that popped into their heads and that they knew just the tiniest bit about. But I'm not saying it's necessarily a good or a bad thing this book has more political talk integrated into it because at least it's well written and it's smart. I'm just saying that I personally am struggling with it a bit because I am not used to expressing myself politically. Now you guys know I have not been enjoying the fictional monologue chapters as much as the others, but I did actually enjoy the two this week. The one I break for marriage was just ridiculous enough to finally win me over. And I think that's because I have dealt with a lot of people around here in my actual life that think that if same-sex marriage is made legal, then there's nothing to stop us from marrying cats or dogs or anything else in the world. Next week, we will be finishing up the book so you can read from now hiring friendly people all the way to the end, and we will be chatting about that. This week, I wanna know the usual, your favorite, least favorite parts of the book, but I also wanna know what you think of the political undertones and overtones and how it's making you feel as either a first-time David Sedaris reader or maybe a long time David Sedaris reader, whichever one you are. Or you can let me know anything else you wanna talk about in the comments. I will be reading and replying to them and then picking some to showcase in the final review video of this book. The so read up and I will see you guys Wednesday.